Welcome to our channel and this time to our trip to the infamous Amalfi Coast as well as Sorrento. We want to give you some tips to plan better and to travel better. So tip number one, plan your route. It is extremely time consuming if you don't plan well. Check the bus and ferry schedules beforehand and decide which ta towns you want to see. The furthest we were going to go on the Amalfi Coast was Atrani. As we decided to start from there and make our way back to Positano. And there isn't a direct bus to Atrani, so the fastest way is to get off at the last stop, which is the Amalfi Town, and walk to Atrani that takes only 10 minutes. And we later walked back to Amalfi. Is the biggest town on the Amalfi Coast and you can both swim, eat, try lemon sorbet, see the Duomo and many more. We found this to be the town with the most things to do. From Amalfi we took a bus to Fior di du Furore. The buses are usually packed, but nevertheless quite easy to use as you're using it as a hop-on, hop-off bus along the coast. And this takes me to tip number two. Choose your swimming stops. It is extremely hot if you're traveling in the high season and you will want to swim for sure. The sea is already beautiful and you must swim, but you will also be dreaming of cooling down. We swam in Atrani, Amalfi and Fiori di Furore. Here you see the Fiore di Furore, which is suggested by every single traveler. It is not a fancy beach, so don't expect that, but a fjord with beautiful turquoise sea. There was a man that was renting tanning beds and drinks, so it felt partially like a private beach. If you have time, I suggest to rent your own boat and stop to swim as you please, as you will have more time to enjoy the sea. Tip number three, do not rent a car or even a Vespa if you don't trust your driving skills. Frankly, even if you are a pro, some roads have a single lane both ways and it is impossible to see if there's a car coming because of the dramatic twists and turns. The buses just keep honking to warn the drivers that are approaching. Parking is another issue as there is limited space on the Amalfi Coast. We didn't have to worry about any of this since we didn't rent and no regrets afterwards. Tip number four, choose your base walk. We were based in Sorrento and I found it to be very efficient. Sorrento is not on the Amalfi Coast, but it is a popular base for many travelers. Some of the reasons are that you have multiple options for getting to the Amalfi Coast, ferries, bus or driving if you're renting your own car. Secondly, it's a good base for day trips to Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii, Napoli, Capri Island, Ischia Island. Thirdly, Amalfi Coast gets very expensive, especially in the high season, so hotels as well as restaurants are less pricey in Sorrento. Our next stop after the Amalfi Coast was Capri, so here are our main tips for the Capri Island. We had one day to explore the infamous island, so we made sure to cover the basics. Tip number one. Rent a boat or take a boat tour around the island. You get a much better idea of the island from the sea. Whether you rent your own boat or take the tours that leave from the main port where you arrive at the island, it is a must. We took the two hour tour around the island and saw all the main sites from the sea, including the famous Faraglioni. All boat tours give you time to take photos at the main sites. Tip number two, a day trip is enough if you plan well. Capri Island consists of Capri Town and Anacapri. On a day trip, you will have enough time for a boat trip, the coastal trail, to walk around Capri Town and take a break at one of the cafes with a view and go for a swim at a beach you prefer. Tip number three, purchase your tickets in advance. By this, we don't mean weeks, but even two days in advance is good enough. 
On day trips, the last boats that leave the island are usually fully booked. There are multiple companies you can choose from. We took Snuff, but I'm sure all other companies would be just as comfortable and easy to book. Last but not least, Sorrento. Tip number one, fantastic base. If you simply need a base for your day trips around Amalfi Coast to Capri, Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii, Napoli, look no further. Sorrento is what you need in terms of proximity to all these places, convenience and transportation options, ferry, trains, bus, private transfer, etc., and fair prices for accommodation as well as great restaurants and shopping. It is a comfortable city to base in overall. And tip number two, don't underestimate Sorrento. Just because it's your base doesn't mean it has less to offer. Take your time exploring Sorrento like a local, spend time at the beach, enjoy the restaurants and people gazing at Falnabar. Thank you.